Hi, Jörg Sikas here. Do you want to know how to create an unscalable business, a dead-end business that, that ha doesn't really, isn't really able to grow? Probably not, but this is a process called inversion thinking, where you basically uh, think about what you want and do the exact, uh, think about the exact opposite things that you should do, because we are better as humans to think about problems than solutions. So here they are, the five keys to create a dead-end business, an unscalable business. Number one, have only one product and no value ladder. So no way to ascend your customers to a higher level, to the result that they want. So only one thing, focus on one product alone, and that is it. And make sure, what's also a really good thing to do with this is just to create a product with low margins. So that, that, that it's really, uh, um, you don't really have room to basically advertise anyone to sell the product because if you do, uh, you will lose money instead of you will gain money. So it's a good thing to do if you want to create an unscalable business, have only one product with low margins. Very good idea. All right, number two, the business dies with you. If you run into a tree, it's over with your business. It's a great way to structureize your business if you want to create a dead end, unscalable, unsellable, business really good idea number three think employees are a nuisance there's a saying here in the netherlands that goes ik wens je veel medewerkers toe and it's like i wish you a lot of employees and people say that kind of laughingly and they the, the belief behind it is that employees are a pain employees that bring you stress they um, make sure you're stuck and while that is some true for some employees, uh, it's not true for all. Because if you hire A players, they do the exact opposite. They create freedom. So basically the tip is hire C players and um, or um, believe that employees are paying and stay by yourself. And do everything yourself. It's a really good way to create an unscalable business. All right, number four. Think you can't be replaced. Think that everything you do is very special and nobody else can do it. And, or, or they can, nobody else could do it better. While yes, you might work the hardest for your business, you are probably not the best at everything you do. Because as a business owner, if you are a solopreneur, you do everything and anything and you can't be the best at everything so make sure that you think this and don't hire people that are actually better than you in a certain areas and certainly don't hire a ceo if you have enough uh, money to do so that can replace you all together and that you become a business owner don't do that because that will make the business <laughs> scalable and we don't want that. We want a dead-end business, right? Yes. Another good one is number five. Don't standardize your products. Don't make sure you have packages. Make sure that everything is custom so that you have to think about every single assignment and that you can't sell to the masses. Because if you would create packages, standardized products that would help a lot of people, then you could sell to the masses and you can uh, make sure that you get a lot of clients simultaneously because if you do custom right you need to do it one by one you're um, you can only service that many people now it's still a little scalable but yeah it limits you a lot so it's a good thing to do as well Right, these are the exact opposite things to do if you want to have a scalable business. So just flip them on their head and do that and you will create a scalable business. So, that for you. So number one, create multiple products and that there is a value ladder. So people can, for example, at the bottom of the value ladder, they can buy or they can see free stuff of yours and they trade your email address or they subscribe to you 
step up, sell them a digital course, for example, or a small product, step up, step up, step up. And so that you don't have one product, but multiple and they uh, rise up so that your customer becomes uh, a lot more valuable. Second, make sure that your business keeps running even if you hit a tree. <laughs> um, try to run your business as if you could sell it any time. And the best way to do that, and the quickest way to do that, is to make sure you have enough money to hire a CEO. A CEO that will run the business for you. And then you will be of, uh, removed from the business operations you won't be a business operator anymore, you will be a business owner, you can think about it strategically, you could do things to grow the business instead of operating the business. Number three, know that employees and freelancers can gain you more freedom. You can outsource stuff, you can automate stuff, and this way uh, you will get closer and closer to creating a really scalable business. The fourth, know that you can re be replaced and that there are people that can do the things that you do, all the things that you do better because they specialized on specific areas and you didn't. That's okay, but that know that there are people that are better at what you do in certain areas than you. They might not be as good as running the business as you might. But even if they run on 80%, it's fine. And the last one was standardize. So standardize, you can do custom stuff for clients and charge a lot for it, but make sure you have a value ladder with a lot of standardized products beforehand. So that you can sell to as many people and don't really, the ideal would be info products because they can be sold and sold again and again. Um, and the production is already done beforehand, so you don't have to hire a lot of people to do it. So it, it becomes more scalable that way. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you did, and make sure um, to keep watching my videos if you like them. And remember, as always, to grow like bamboo. Thank you, bye.